Hey everyone, my name is Will Valida. I'm a software engineer and cloud architect. And in this video, we're gonna talk about using if else condition statements in Rust. Now, an essential part of programming involves making decisions based on data. We talked about data types and variables in our last video. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how we can use if else statements to control program actions by testing for certain conditions. Now we can create conditional branches in our code by using if else keywords and many different programming languages offer the same functionality. So if you are coming from a programming background, uh, this should be fairly straightforward to you. So let's start with a very simple example. So here I am in my main.rs um, file. I've created a new project if else. So I'm storing all of this code in my GitHub repository, which I'll leave in the description below. Uh, so you can view this later. So let's start with a simple example. So if one is equal to two, I'm gonna print line, the numbers are equal. Else, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what I'm gonna write. The numbers are not equal. There we go. Cool, so I'll save that and let's go cargo run. I'm in the if else directory. And there we go. So the output is the numbers are not equal because one is not equal to two. Now, unlike most other languages, if blocks in Rust can also act as expressions. So let's take an example. If I, uh, let me get some more real estate going on here. So let sunny day, I'm gonna equal that to true, even though it was cold here in Melbourne today. So let, take another uh, variable called take jacket. I'm gonna go if sunny day, we're gonna return, don't take a jacket, else take a jacket. And then we're gonna print that out to the console. And what do you think it's gonna say? Cool, save that. Cargo run. Oh, let me add the semicolon there and the exclamation mark. There we go. So it says, don't take a jacket. Cool, so in this example, we've assigned a value to the take jacket variable based on the if sunny day uh, expression. So when the expression um, if sunny day is equal to true, the value of this take jacket variable is gonna be uh, don't take the string don't take a jacket. Uh, whereas if it's false, it's gonna set the um, take jacket string variable to take jacket. Um, now, because we initialized this sunny day variable to be true, we kind of know that uh, the results of the expression if um, if sunny day is also true. Cool, and we can also combine multiple test conditions as well. So you can combine if and else together to form an else if expression. And multiple else if conditions can be used after the starting if condition and uh, before a closing else condition, which is optional. So the idea here is that is that if a condition expression evaluates to true, the corresponding action block will be executed. Any of the following else if or else blocks will be skipped. Um, however, if a condition expression evaluates to false, then that corresponding action block will be skipped. And then the following else if conditions will be evaluated. Um, if all of the if and else if conditions evaluate to false, then the else block is executed. So let's actually write out an example. So let uh, number that's equal to 100 and let out of range and I won't bind a value to it but I will say that's a bool so if number is less than zero out of range will be equal to true then I'll write another else if so else if number is equal to zero out of range will also be equal to true else if the number is greater than five, um, 101, let's say. Out of range will be equal to true as well. Hopefully you're getting the idea. 
else, whatever number it is, out of range will be equal to false. Cool, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print line. Um, out of range. Cool. So the number we're initializing to 100, we've also got this out of range uh, variable, which is a Boolean. And then we're gonna test if the number is less than zero, then we'll say the out of range will be equal to true. If the number is equal to zero exactly, the out of range will also be true. If it's greater than 101, then um, the out of range will be equal to true, otherwise it's going to be false. So let me clear that and run cargo run. It's gonna build and compile, and there we go. The number, it's, it's printed out false because the number is not out of range. So that wraps up this video on if else condition statements in the Rust programming language. So just to wrap up this video, we learned how to define an if else condition statement. We also learned how we can actually assign values to variables using if else condition statements. We also learn how to combine multiple test conditions as well. So how we can combine if and else together to form an else if condition uh, expression and how we can use multiple else if conditions to evaluate multiple um, conditional statements. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll cover arrays and vector data types. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you wanna see that video and more videos on the Rust programming language, don't forget to subscribe. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you all next time.